China says it wants to avoid further clashes with India following a fatal standoff on the Himalayan border. The foreign ministers of both sides have held a phone call to discuss the issue. And this follows some of the deadliest violence in decades along their disputed border. At least 20 Indian soldiers were killed when troops from both sides attacked each other with clubs and stones. Indian media say many of the victims succumbed to their injuries because of the freezing temperatures. Reports suggest there were fatalities among Chinese troops as well. Now, the fighting took place in the Galwan Valley, which lies between Tibet and Ladakh. So China and India share a 3,000 kilometer border, which in some parts is claimed by both sides. Tensions have been brewing for weeks, with both sides accusing each other of violating the line of actual control. Niha Punya joins us now live from New Delhi for more on this story. And Niha, the Prime Minister has been under pressure to respond, and he's finally broken his silence. That's right, Steve. Uh, this incident took place on Monday. It's on Tuesday that the Indian Army confirmed that uh, three Indian soldiers had died. By the end of the day on Tuesday, they had revised that estimate to 20 casualties, the deadliest day we've seen along the shared Indochina border in nearly 50 years. And despite that, the Prime Minister only speaking on Wednesday, leading to a lot of criticism, not just from the opposition, but also from many angry Indian citizens who are calling on the government to do more to retaliate uh, militarily as well as by boycotting all trade with China. Uh, Prime Minister Modi um, condoled the death of the 30 Indian soldiers. He also said that uh, India is a country that wants peace, but uh, if it is provoked, then it will not hesitate to retaliate. Uh, he also said that the deaths of these soldiers will not go in vain. Uh, the context here is important. Prime Minister Modi uh, won a re-election only last year on the promises of keeping India's borders safe, which is why many critics say it's completely unfathomable why he did not speak for more than 24 hours. And uh, we're also seeing many protests here in Delhi, as well as in other parts of the country, with people saying, that uh, the army should retaliate immediately, that India should stop all trade with Beijing, which is its largest trading partner. So the domestic sentiment here is clearly uh, demanding more action from the Indian government. And many are saying that uh, there was a lack of transparency and uh, India was possibly caught sleeping because of how serious this altercation eventually turned out to be, given the fact that this has been going on for almost uh, more than a month now, uh, that both sides have been facing off in Ladakh. All right, so speaking of demanding action, are there plans to de-escalate the situation then? It appears so. I mean, uh, if you had asked me this question on Wednesday morning, uh, the answer would have been possibly no. But uh, in the last few hours, several rapid developments have taken place. Like you said, the, uh, the foreign minister, uh, ministers of both countries have spoken. It's unclear at whose behest this call took place. That would be an interesting um, piece of information to know. But uh, India has said that it's lodged a very serious protest with China. It's called the actions of uh, Chinese troops as premeditated and planned, accusing them of uh, erecting an illegal structure on Indian territory. They've also said that uh, it's uh, very important that China reassess its situation on the ground because that will have a very se a serious impact on uh, Indochina bilateral ties. We've also heard from China They've urged India to take strict action against uh, Indian soldiers who they allege had uh, crossed over into Chinese territory. They've also said that uh, both sides have agreed now to de-escalate to ensure that there's peace and tranquility along the shared border. But it's interesting, Glenda, uh, while they're saying that uh, they've both agreed to de-escalate, they're both still contradicting each other more than two days since this uh, conflict happened. Uh, in the past, we've not seen this kind of an escalation between India and China. Uh, both countries have ordinarily managed to resolve things through dim diplomacy, but this time around, that doesn't seem to be the case, which is why experts say that this conflict is not over yet. All right, I mean, thanks for that. Niha Punia speaking to us from New Delhi.